Angus Nation, Thursday's workout is cash back. We are starting with a descending and then ascending ladder of ab mat sit-ups. So we're gonna complete 50 ab mat sit-ups, then your next set would be 35, followed by 20, and then we'll make our way back up, 35, 50. In between each of these sets of ab mat sit-ups, we're going to perform a round of 10 double dumbbell push press followed by a 50 meter double dumbbell walk. For that walk, it's gonna consist of a dumbbell locked out overhead, followed by one dumbbell hanging by your side. Now, this workout is very midline intense and overheads and focusing on overhead stability and that conditioning component all in one. So we're looking for this to take us somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes to complete and aiming to get through those dumbbell movements in one to two sets. As far as transitioning goes into our dumbbell movements, look to transition onto your, on your ninth dumbbell or your ninth push press, so that way you can get right into that walk, smooth sailing. Modifications. So for our double dumbbell push press, if we don't have a double dumbbell, or if we have a dumbbell that's on the heavier side, we're gonna go single dumbbell in the front rack position. If we're using a barbell today, we would recommend 135 slash 95 if we were in the gym. Again, if we have a single dumbbell for our overhead carry, we would just worry about uh, locking that arm up overhead and not having a dumbbell to carry at our side. Hope you guys have fun, get after it. Today's warm up, we're gonna perform 30 seconds of the following movements, starting with active Spider-Man. So Kate's taking a step up, her inside arm comes down to the floor before coming to the, to the sky, and then switching legs and repeating. From there, we'll go into an alternating bird dog, so set up on hands and knees, and alternating raising opposite arm, opposite leg, squeezing the glute and reaching long with the shoulder. From there, we're gonna go ahead and stand and we'll perform active Samson. So taking a step out, pushing those hips forward, arms go big to the sky, alternating right in place. After that, we'll go back down to the floor for alternating shoulder taps. So we'll get set up in a high plank position and alternate opposite arm comes to opposite shoulder, trying to stay nice and square with those hips and, and chest. Then from there, we're gonna just press ourselves right into downward dog and we're gonna hold this position, pushing that head through towards those toes, really trying to open up those shoulders for all the overhead work we're gonna be doing today and uh, pedaling those heels into the floor to stretch out the backs of those legs. And then last but not least, we'll finish with a, a forearm plank. So keeping the body nice and rigid, squeezing the belly, squeezing the legs, keeping the gaze down towards the floor as we hold. For our ab mat sit-ups today, we're gonna focus on really utilizing our core by leading from the center of our body. So if we think about as we're coming up through that ab mat, to lead from your belly and using those abs, you'll more effectively develop more strength from there. It can also help you put, put you in a better position. Make sure we focus on our breathing through this as well. Take a big deep breath in on the way down and then exhale that air out as we sit through. For our double dumbbell push press, we're gonna set up with those dumbbells in our front rack position, elbows through. And we're gonna start our movement with a nice shallow dip, knees pointed out, and then we're gonna drive those legs and hips through aggressively to finish with those elbows locked out and biceps nice and tight to our ear. Okay, as you can notice with Kate, as she finishes, her thumbs are pointed back to keep her shoulders in a good, stable position. For our single push press, we're gonna set up holding either side of our dumbbell, but same, uh, same points go. Nice shallow dip and explosive drive out of the bottom to get that dumbbell up overhead in that same finished position. For our double dumbbell walk, just like we wanna focus on our dip through the push press, we wanna focus on having a little dip through our, our knees through our walk. So, we wanna have a shallow dip, soft bend through those knees, 
keeping that torso nice and vertical and belly stays nice and tight, trying to maintain balance over our mid foot. Try to go through this checklist in your head as you're going through each of these steps. Now, once you've gotten to 25 meters, that is when you'll switch arms and proceed. And if we are only working with a single dumbbell today, then we would just focus on that one arm, but all those other pieces remain the same. Thank you.